Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and today I'm going to be giving you your spoilers for your favorite soap for the week of February 28th to March the 4th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Please hit that like button so YouTube knows a good channel for soap fans. And we have a membership where you get early access to videos, uh, spoilers up to two weeks in advance. You get articles throughout the week letting you know what's going on as it's happening. And... You also have my recipes in there, some, you know, proper talks, a bunch of stuff is in the membership to, uh, that I hope you enjoy and give it a try. We'd love to have you, see if you like it, um, hit that join button, and then um, you'll see a video that tells you all about the membership and how great it is. And you also get a quick shout out only in a spoiler video, so I'm going to go ahead and thank Michael Pryor, Phyllis Pierce, Ramona Newsom, Ariana Gwen Marie, Kiki Landry, Roger Smith, Artemis Hill, Merlin, Finn, Riri Carter, Sim Slims, Josh Hurst, Cheryl Beecher, Heather Kite, Jay Ponza, Dual Devoted Couples, Rose Garden Design, Hattie R. Lloyd, Demi Sun, Scotty Hall, Dee Dee, Apple Chick, Jen Adams, BBW Women, Sandra Carver, Red Butterfly, 50 Irish, Omar, Shannon Clark, Janet Loftus, and uh, today we have a new member, Chalk Mint 33. So thank you for all for being part of the membership. And now we're going to go on ahead and give you those spoilers for your favorite soap. And now it's time for me to go on ahead and give you your Young and the Rest of Spoilers for the week of the 28th. Remember, everything was pushed down because of Biden's speech about what's going on with Russia and everything. So now what was supposed to happen on Friday is going to happen on Monday. So on Monday the 28th, Lily calls a meeting of the minds. Amanda and Monty share a difference of opinion. Jill offers words of wisdom. Well, that sounds like a boring episode. Tuesday the 1st, uh, Victor tests Nick's loyalty. He's like a broken record. Can you do more than just test his kids? Jack calls a family meeting. Nikki questions Victoria's decision making. <laughs> Finally, after Nikki put uh, common sense to the wind and let Victoria just do whatever she wanted to do, finally Nikki is getting on Victoria, or at least questioning Victoria's decision. It doesn't say that she actually confronts her with it, but at least Nikki is actually getting her common sense back. Um, Wednesday, March the 2nd, Victor gives Ashlyn an ultimatum. So if you saw the promo for this week, you saw that um, Victor confronts Ashlyn, let him know he knows the truth about him never having cancer. Adam tangles with Victoria. I really need Victoria to be knocked off of that pedestal um, because she's doing too much. Tessa provides Mariah with a much needed distraction care. Thursday, March the 3rd, Victor follows through on a threat. He probably tells Victoria. Dev Devon protects Dominic's best interest. Which means um, I saw like a, a, a early preview of like Amanda and Devon where Amanda is trying to get Devon to focus on custody again. Victoria makes a dangerous decision. So is Victoria's dangerous decision to know what's going on with Ashlyn and stay with him and try to trick him? So um, I can see that happening. She is Victor's daughter. Friday, March the 4th. Phyllis gives Jack some tough love. She should be giving him some tough... Mm -hmm. Sharon, <laughs> he needs it. He ain't had a woman in, what, two years now? Sharon gives Nick a warning. So, um, please give Sharon a storyline. She's been on the show too long and it's too good to be just waffling at the, at the coffee house. Victor plots his next move. So, this stuff with Victor and Ashlyn, instead of having the month of February, Victor... Um, putting out uh, Michael to go on ahead and find out what's going on with Ashlyn. That should happen in January. February should have been 
started off with Victor confronting um, Ashley. Uh, but at least they're doing it now. So um, we also have on Thursday, March the 3rd, Jeremiah Jai, Jahi, Jahai uh, plays Chance's therapist, Dr. Huffman. Um, you've seen him, you'll probably see him on my coming and going videos I'm releasing, coming and going video I'm releasing today. Um, he's actually going to be in several episodes with Chance as Chance gets therapy. Um, Billy starts his podcast that nobody cares about. At least not me and the people on Twitter. Um, with J while Jack tries to find answers from the mysterious text. Which, if you see my coming and going video, um, you'll know that's probably Jack's granddaughter who he had um, um, from chemo. Uh, 